Hey, welcome back to DefendingUtah.org. This is Ben McClintock here with Micah Turner. Something really bad happened uh, this week to just yeah. a regular person. We have the Ken Cromar, Ken and Barbara Cromar. The federal government said, you haven't paid your taxes. We're taking your home. And no, there was no due process, meaning they weren't charged with the crime. They were not put on trial. There was no evidence presented. They just said, you owe us $2 million or something like that. If the feds had evidence that they owed the money they claim they owe, they would have shown it. Just a put long it on trial. It'd be easy and it'd be done with. This is not about us. This is not about Barbie and Ken. This is all about we the people. We actually have been blocked from being in the courts. Our case began January of 2018, uh, United States versus Cromar, Bar Barbie and Ken Cromar. And uh, what happened is, is we've still never, ever seen the chief judge of the U.S. District Court out of Salt Lake. Don't know what he looks like, never heard his voice. And yet all of this action has taken place against us. We are here to just simply stand on the principles of freedom, the Constitution, our unalienable rights, the due process and hearing that we're required to have, and a trial by jury. None of those things have happened yet. Basically, as quick as they could, because this is what the IRS does, is they don't do due process, they don't wait for trials, um, and then in order to complicate the issue, they want to take the property, and then they want to sell it as fast as they can. That way nothing can be done. Yeah. As, you, as an individual, this, you have no time to respond. They plan on people crumbling. They know divorces happen. They know that people commit suicide. That's how brutal and wicked this thing is. And then they did a whole bunch of chicanery. Ken went and moved back into his house that he legally owns. Officers, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Who do we have? Officer Kinneman. Officer Kinneman and Officer, Officer Bird. Bird. How you doing? Good, nice to meet Good. you. Good. So what's, so what's going, going on, on today? Uh, you're on my property, and I'd like you to get off, please. Okay. So is there any problem with you? How did you guys get into the house? This is my house. Okay. You so can go look at it on the front door. Did you? Could I you notice this those, sign in the front window that says property of the U.S. government? Do you work for the U.S. government? I know, and I work for the uh, city of American Fork and also the city of Cedar Hills. Very good. We changed the locks. The cops came to visit him and they're like, what are you doing? He's like, I don't, I have the title of this property. This is my property. You guys trespass. It was a nothing burger. They found that, you know, all of the documents showed that it was the Cromar's home. Yeah. And they didn't arrest him because there was no law broken. There was no warrant for Mr. Cromar's arrest. There's there no was, charges there was filed. no charges. There was no ability to be able to evict them as squatters because they were the property owners. I'm in Cedar Hills, Utah, near the Cromar home. They've been saying we're buttoning down, buttoning down the house. We've got a huge vehicle right here coming. We have officers here. They won't let us go down that street. There's a big armored vehicle on the other street heading to their house. The police have cordoned off the area. And we've got one person who's helping right here. And we've got a second person. They won't let anybody else in. I believe Barbara is there alone. They're buttoning down the houses, getting people out. And cops have been driving around. Ken won't answer his phone. Well, what's happening is apparently the cops have moved in to physically remove the Cromars from their home. This is Facebook Live. Hopefully you're getting this. I'm gonna have to have an interaction with these people. Um, and it's gonna be really interesting here, pretty quick. The Cromars have been fighting to keep their home 
for years against a corrupt government. So they're starting the process. I'm going to go right downstairs and get a constitution. I was told they had a vehicle there with a battering ram attached to the front of it. Driving on to the property, destroying the grass, destroying. I believe they're gonna try to ram in the front door. Yeah, this is them making their move. Can you hear me? Can you people down there hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, who are you? Can you answer me? So far, they're not answering. Okay, Austin, we are at the I need an answer. We'll Where is your warrant? Door. Do you have a warrant? Who are you? Tian, if you're watching, go to Barb Cromar's page. See if she's up. I hope you guys are all watching this. This is unlawful. Unlawful search and seizure. They won't answer my questions. All they're doing is shining lights. They won't answer my question. Asking them if they have a warrant. They won't answer my question. Are you upholding your oath to the Constitution? They won't answer my question. You are trespassing on the property. Oh, I hear him. Can you hear him down there? Sounds like a megaphone type thing or whatever it's called. Attention to all those individuals who are inside the home at 9870 North Meadowview Drive. This is the Utah County Sheriff's Office. All occupants inside the home are ordered to exit out the front door of the home immediately. If you refuse to exit the home immediately, you will be arrested. There is a valid court order to evict all individuals inside the home and property. Is there a warrant? You are hereby notified that you are trespassing and subject to arrest. An order doesn't do it. You got to have a warrant. Anyone who interferes with any police officer will be arrested. Do you have a warrant? Do you have a warrant? Hello? Do you have a warrant? But we know they have three points set up around the house. So I got that from the police scanner. I don't know where the where the where they are though. We got people over here. Out this window. people in the back by the tree. We have people all around. A sad day. Sad day when the, we can't follow the Constitution anymore. This could happen to anybody. So far they're not showing me a warrant. Nothing. Nothing. All right, I'm gonna go live. I've never gone live on Facebook. It makes me nervous, but I'm really scared for some friends of mine who there's like at least 25 cops on this street, if not more on all the other streets. It's insane. Trying to kick a lady out of her house, one lady, and a guy just passed with armored, dressed all in camo. I'm just absolutely shocked. That's me in the house. This is unlawful, illegal. I'm recording as soon as much as I can. Oh no, Barbara's live stream just ended. I'm at the top of Cromar Street. They must have got far back because their police are moving out right now. I was just told by their son that Ken was arrested. <coughs> oh no. That he called his youngest from jail to give her the heads up. I need you to put your hands up in the air. Hands up in the air, ma'am. We're gonna send a female to the team on the north. 
I need you to keep your hands up, ma'am, and I need you to walk to the north of the property with your hands up. Leave all items on the porch. All items on the porch, ma'am. Keep your hands up and walk to the north. They're not comfortable no matter how you move them. Let me double lock them though so they don't keep tightening down on you. Yep. And that a neighbor has told this son also that Barbara okay. has been arrested. <gasps> That's what they say, so I don't know what they're doing still all hanging around. Well, if they've got them all in custody, so, it seems like they'd just wrap it up, but yeah. I'm going to wait and see. So. The last couple of hours, uh, the, de the deputies and detectives with the Utah County Sheriff's Office arrested Mr. Paul Kenneth Cromar. His wife was arrested a short time later. This is another Cromar update. If you remember um, our last video, we talked about how he was arrested. You know, and the reason all these shenanigans are going on is because at the end of the day, if the feds had evidence that they owed the money they claim they owe, they would have shown it. Just a put long it on time trial. Ago. It'd be easy and it'd be done with. Right. Yeah. Do the trial. Here's the paper. Look, they signed it. They owed it. Here's what they should have paid. They didn't pay. There's the evidence. They'd say, oh, okay, take their house. Right? <laughs> It'd be so simple. Just released on bail. Uh, you violated violated the terms of your release. I did. How? Yeah. Uh, you weren't allowed to be within a thousand feet of the residence. I think there's a mistake here, Officer Nakai. That was never said. I looked at the papers uh, today. Nobody would give us any papers while we were there. I. This is. I. This, this is not right. When I got arrested the other night, you, you, I'm, you just gonna, talk, I'm just going to tell you, my yeah. shoulders were hurt badly okay. the other night okay. because these are tight and they don't work well with my For sure. Ken, I've got Ken, bad we're shoulders. we're happy to move them to the front if you'd uh, that, like. Please, okay. Okay. That, the shoulders don't do well. Okay, so Ken, I yeah. have a little bit more information. So apparently when you signed some paperwork to get out of jail, there was a pretrial release agreement that you signed and in there it stated that you would not be within the, a thousand feet of the residence. I did not see that. They've, they've, they've run you through the thing real fast. I read it. I don't remember seeing anything like that. We had to get our cars. I know. I, I, I'm sure you had a lot going on, but it's something that you signed when you were released from the jail. So that's what they based this wow. warrant on. Wow. So. This is really clever. Uh, on whose part? Everybody involved. Well, uh, we're just enforcing orders. I don't know what else to tell you. Maybe when you get back to the jail, they can show you the paper that you signed where it said that. Yeah, that would be nice. So, be nice. did they give you any paperwork when you left? We couldn't get anything mm -hmm. from them. Um, no charges, no written charges. I still have. You gotta understand one thing first. This is not about us. This is not about Barbie and Ken. This is all about we the people.